Good morning, boys and girls. It's lovely to see you all again today. Here we are for another phonics video, but instead of using my big whiteboard, today I'm going to be using pen and paper just like you're using. Please make sure you've got your pen and paper at the ready and then we can start. We are looking at our suffixes straight away this morning. We have est, which might sound like ist, but we know it's our three superheroes, E-S-T. We've got ing, the cool dudes, and there's three of those as well. E-D, which means it happens in the past. And we've got our suffix er, 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 better letter. Last week we looked at some words and these words all ended in an E, like in the word smile, smile. Now if I wanted to add the suffix ing to the root part of the word smile, I had to do something first. Can you remember what I had to do? Yes, I had to drop the E and then add the suffix. I can't just add it straight away. I, N, G. I have to get rid of the E first. So I need to drop the E and then add the suffix. The same with love. If I wanted to turn it into loving, I had a really loving family. I can't just add the suffix ing straight away. I need to drop the E and add the suffix. Take off the E, add I, N, G. With your pen and paper, can you look at my next two words? It's the word come and the word make. Can you turn the word come into coming? She'll be coming home soon. Can you turn the word make into making? I, I am going to be making a cake. Have a go and then show somebody at home. If you need more time, you can pause the video, but I'm going to write it on my board. So come, oh, I can see it ends in an E, so I need to change the E, drop the E and add the suffix ing. Make, if I'm turning it into making, Again, it's got our split digraph A in it, so it ends in an E. I need to drop the E and add our suffix ing, making. We're going to carry on looking at our suffixes now, but instead of dropping the E, we're going to have to do something else in today's lesson. And that involves our short vowels. We have a, e, i. Oh, oh, and remember the long sound is A, E, I, O, U. When we have one of those sounds, the short vowel sounds, right next to the last letter in the word that we're writing, we can't just add our suffix straight away. Let me show you what I mean. I have here the word stop. Stop, and I wanted to turn the word stop into stopping. So I couldn't just add the suffix ing. Can you see I've added another P letter? I've doubled the last sound in the word. It was stop, that was the root part of the word. But because of this short vowel, I had to double the last letter before I added my suffix ing. Stop. Ing, stopping. And that will be the same with drop, drop. Because I can hear that short vowel sound, the R, drop. Be right before my last letter, I have to double the last letter. So I need to add another P, drop, ing, and then I can add my suffix. Drop, ing, dropping. And this would be the same if we were adding the ed, the past tense suffix as well. If you can hear a short vowel right before the last letter, you can't just add ed straight away. You have to double the last letter and then add the suffix. So stop would become stopped. 
I'm going to write it in this space here. Stop. Stop. There's the root part of my word, but I can't just add ed straight away. Stopped. Because I can hear that there's a short vowel sound, I need to double that p. Double the last letter and then add ed. So that would be the same for dropping if I wanted to write the word dropped. Here's the root word again. D -r -o -p. Drop. If I wanted to turn it into dropped, I can hear the o sound. That's the short vowel sound right before the last letter. So I need to double the last letter. Dropped. And then add ed. Dropped. I've got the word jog right at the bottom. With your pen and paper, can you write two words? Can you write the word jogging and jogged? She was jogging on the path. She jogged on the path. You're going to have to double the last letter because I can hear a short vowel sound. If you need more time, remember, pause the video. Jogging, jogging, j o. Oh, there's my short vowel sound again. The o, oh, right before the last letter. So I know I need to double that g and turn it into jog in, jogging. And that would be exactly the same if I was writing jogged with our past tense suffix on the end. Jogged. I'm going to put it over here. J -o -g. Jog, there's the root part of the word. Remember, I can hear a short vowel, so I need to. Yes, you're right. Double the G and add ED. Jogged. Well done. You're still going to need your pen and paper because we're going to write a sentence. Think carefully about this sentence. Because one of the words, you will have to double the sound, double the letter, before you add the suffix. The sentence is, are you listening and ready? She was slipping on the ice. She was slipping on the ice. Have a go at writing that sentence. Here it is on my board. You might want to compare it to yours and see if you've got the word slipping correct. She was, oh I've started with a capital letter, have you? She was slipping. Slip is the root part of the word. Uh, I. I can hear a short vowel, there's that I sound. Right before the last letter, p, l, i, p, slip. Because I can hear that short vowel, I know I need to double the p, double the last letter in the root part of the word. Slip, ing, then I can add my suffix to the end. She was slipping on the ice. Did you remember that sometimes the c, the k, and make a sound, ice. You might have put a full stop and that's fine, but I've chosen to put an exclamation mark because I've added emotion to my sentence. She was slipping on the ice. Okay, the final part of our session today is we're going to have a look at some tricky words. Last week we started looking at these words and today we're going to carry them on. Can you remember how to spell water? Have a go at writing it on your piece of paper. Water. Here's the word water. Did you remember how to spell it? Remember, it's like water because it's got an a ah in it, but we say it as water. We've also got the word people, people, people. 
And one of my favourite tricky words that we're learning this week is beautiful. You are beautiful. And there's a little rhyme that I always say to myself when I'm writing the, this word that helps me remember the spelling. Because this little bit here can be a bit tricky, the E-A-U. So I remember it as B, elephant, always, understand, tiffle. Because I can hear t -i -ful, tiffle. I don't need a rhyme to help me with that bit. But this part here is the bit I find tricky, the E-A-U. So big, B for big, F for elephant, A for always, U for understand. Big, elephant, always, understand, tiffle. And that just helps me remember the spelling of it. You might want to play beat the mum or beat the dad. Or we're going to play beat the teacher with this word here. The word beautiful. So put it on your piece of paper or your board and let's see how many times we can write the word beautiful in a minute. Are you ready? Are you steady? Here we go. B E A U T F L. Oh, oh, and my goes up to the sky and down to the ground. Beautiful. Big elephant always understand. Tiffle. Oh, tiffle. Beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Big elephant always understand. Tiffle. Tiffle. Half a minute left. Keep going. Big elephant always understand. Tiffle. 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 Three, two, one. Put your pens down. Count how many times you managed to write the word beautiful. One, two, three, four. I managed it four times because it's such a long word. How many times did you manage? Well done, boys and girls. Fabulous phonics. Looking forward to seeing you later on. Bye.